This video will show you how to model a foundation in CADAM 3D. To have access to the foundation module, you must first define a new model and select a section type. There are four section types available in, in CADAM 3D. You have the gravity section, gated, gated spillway, intake, and spillway. I'll select the gravity section. I'll now have access to the foundation. If I click foundation from the menu model, I have this window appearing and the only option available right now is the elevation and length. The definition of the length of the foundation is a very important element for the subsequent modeling of the structure. In fact, the length of the foundation corresponds to the horizontal distance that separates the upstream point of the downstream point where either a gravity dam, a spillway, a pier, or an intake section is in contact with the foundation over this length. Any volume other than these four sections should not be considered in the determination of the length of the foundation. This is essential when the user begins the process of modeling. A breach of this directive will lead to problems of calculations mainly at the level of the foundation structure contact. Okay, now I will set my base length to 20 meter, the upstream elevation to 411 meters, and the downstream side at 407 meters. And I'll click OK. Now what we can see is two lines. The lines on the left is representing the upstream side of the foundation, and on the right, the downstream side. Now what is left to do is just join these two sections or these two sides from the upstream up to the downstream side by using segmentation. And we do that by head segment. We always start from the upstream going up to the downstream side. There are four types of segments in CADAM 3D. You have the linear, the arc of circle, the power equation, and the polynomial. I'll use the linear. In the linear type, you can either define your segment by coordinates, so you just set up the end of your segment by coordinate or by increment. I'll use by increment, so I'll add a x increment of 10 and a minus 4 for the y direction. Now I can see my first segment that has been done. I'll add another one. I'll still use by increment. And then I can proceed like this, defining my profile. It is very important that the last segment should be done using closed foundation. This is very important because we want to avoid any zero length segment. Now this is done, I have to define the failure plane. I'll do that by clicking define failure plane button. The failure plane can be defined manually by the user or obtained automatically from a linear regression of the profile of the foundation. Given that the analysis plane must be composed of a single linear segment, the determination of this plane of failure is a crucial aspect for the stress and stability calculations at the level of the concrete rock contact. Attention must be paid to this aspect of the modeling of the foundation. So if I change the numbers for the user defined, it will change the profile here, as you can see or you can select a linear regression. And now, as you can see, we have a 3D representation of the foundation. It is important to note at this stage that no thickness or depth has been specified for the foundation and that the software use appropriate values for the needs of viewing. In fact, the thickness of the foundation will be equal to the thickness of the section defined subsequently. That ends that video.